friends and welcome back to my kitchen or should I say aloha friends. So today I'm doing something really fun looking back at last year and I wanted to make or try to make the best thing that I ate in 2022 and that was in the beautiful beautiful state of Hawaii. So Neil and I turned 30 last year and we saved up for a few years to do an awesome trip to Hawaii. And we ate some incredible food. Now, the best food that I had not only on that trip, but all of 2022 was on Lanai at Nobu. It was a gorgeous restaurant at the Four Seasons on Lanai and it was incredible. Now, thinking realistically about some of the best things that I had in that meal, it's a lot of awesome seafood. It's January in Tennessee. So I was a little limited on what I could try to recreate, but one of my favorite things that I had in that meal was Nobu's spicy tuna with crunchy rice. And it was so obviously delicious, but it was so fun. It was little rectangles of fried sushi rice with this beautiful spicy tuna and it was genuinely so delicious. And so even though there were other fantastical things that we had that night or fancier things that we had, um, this was one of the things that one stuck out to me most about that very special meal and two something relatively approachable that I could try to recreate. So that is exactly what I did for you guys. I've taken a few days, did some testing. We had some successes and some failures, but I have a recipe you guys for you now that replicates Nobu's spicy tuna with crunchy rice. Let me show you. So you're gonna start the night before with the sushi rice. I went to an uh, Asian market and I got this extra fancy rice for this extra fancy house. So this serving, I'm doing two cups of rice, I'm trying to make about four servings plus. And the most important thing is you're gonna wanna rinse the rice until the water is clear like this. Um, I had to wash mine about four times. Then I don't have a rice cooker, um, so I just use a rule of thumb where you add cold water up till your first knuckle, then you bring to a boil, reduce to simmer, cover until all of the liquid has been absorbed and your rice is dry. Then you fluff and let sit. Meanwhile, I'm taking the tuna that I'm using for this recipe. I got the best tuna, frozen tuna, that I had available to me, which was at Publix. Um, it's best to use the best grade you can and frozen because what you see in the deli counters are actually thawed frozen fish that they got. So if you get it frozen, you're gonna get more direct from the source. Next, we're making our sushi rice marinade. You are going to do a half cup of rice vinegar, a half cup of mirin, one tablespoon of sugar, and one half tablespoon of salt. You're gonna mix all of that together and let that dissolve. Then you're going to take one half cup of that mixture, use the back of the spoon, and evenly spread the marinade over the sushi rice and mix. Next, we are compressing. I'm taking one quarter sheet here and I am going to line it well with some saran wrap. Then I'm going to spread my cooled marinated sushi rice and I'm going to pack in an even as possible layer across the sheet. Then I'm going to cover in some more saran wrap and then take another quarter sheet, press it down, add a towel and a heavy book. This is going to rest and compress overnight in your fridge. The next morning we are gonna start off with our thawed delicious tuna and we're gonna make our tuna salad by cutting our tuna into strips and then into finely, finely chopped cubes. Okay, so now we are ready to make our tuna salad, I guess we'll call it. So I have my diced tuna, I've got soy sauce, sriracha, sesame oil, we have 
the good mayonnaise. We have the furikake, which is really delicious, and some cut up green onions. So, I when I'm seasoning things, I like to make it even uh, because I don't really measure when I season. So, if everything is flat, I know I'm seasoning pretty much everything. I know I'm seasoning well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this QB mayo here. Just gonna drizzle that over. Next is the sriracha. Then I'm gonna do a drizzle of the sesame oil. Next, I'm going to do a drizzle or try to drizzle soy sauce. I think that's good. The green onion. The fur comment. And then we mix. Alright, I think that is pretty true to form. So I'm gonna put this in a cup, I'm going to cover it, and I'm gonna put it back in the fridge to cool down. Now it is time to crisp the rice. Overnight, the rice compacted a little bit, which makes these rice blocks very easy to cut. So I cut mine into about bite-sized rectangles, as similarly as I could to sushi pieces. You can slide it very easily out of the tray and you can break apart your sushi bricks like this. Next, we are doing our accoutrement. I'm very, very thinly slicing a jalapeno, and then I am also thinly slicing, honestly, a beautiful avocado. So I do that by just scooping it out, slicing it, and pressing it down to fan it out. Covering with saran wrap and waiting until we're assembling. Then you are going to take your rice block and you are going to shallow fry it in a frying pan with, I'm using some canola oil here. You're gonna wanna make sure it's about a centimeter thick so that way the oil reaches the sides of your blocks. This will pop at you and they will want to stick together. So make sure that you have enough space in your pan and if your rice sticks to any of your utensils, just wipe it off and it will stop sticking. Also make sure you are standing back from your pan because there is moisture in these blocks and when you turn them, they will spit at you. So just make sure you have either very long chopsticks like this or very long tongs and the results are honestly delicious. It's worth the headache. Now we're assembling our bites. So. I'm putting them all kind of in a line here. I'm doing a little dollop of soy sauce that will soak right into the crispy rice. Then I am laying down some avocado. This is each about either a small slice or half of a normal slice here. Then I'm topping with my delicious tuna mix. Then I'm adding some more furikake on top of that. And then one thin slice of jalapeno. And there you have it. Beautiful, delicious, really crispy, Nobu spicy tuna with crispy rice. It is absolutely divine. Okay, we are back in look at these guys they turned out so well i am so proud of this recipe now i will say frying the sticky rice is annoying they stick <laughs> but i tried it with cornstarch and it didn't really help the sticking and it just kind of made like a weird layer on it so i cut that out but it is crispy it is crunchy it is delicious um i will say it is rich, so leaving it as an appetizer is best. Um, we tried it for dinner one night and we like absolutely could not finish it. It's just a lot of raw fish. You know, that, that's a lot. But I hope you guys make this recipe. It is delicious, it is crunchy, 
it is sweet, it is sour, it is spicy, and you're gonna love it. And a great replica at home of the best thing that I had in 2022, which is Nobu's spicy tuna and crunchy rice. So let me know if you guys make this at home or if you have any questions, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.